Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today, we'll be discussing the gauges and monitor on Komatsu's HD465 and HD605-8 truck. So with that, let's get started. Starting with the introduction of Tier 4 Interim Emissions Technology, Komatsu made significant improvements to the truck monitor system for operator safety and information. Today we're going to take a detailed look at those enhancements on our Tier 4 final trucks. The HD465 and 605-8 truck monitor group is very similar to the other Komatsu wheeled products, but there are also some significant differences. Let's break the monitor assembly down into three main parts and examine how those parts communicate with the operator. Centered on the top are the warning and pilot lamps. To the right side is the speedometer and tachometer, and to the left is the main monitor display. Looking at the warning and pilot lamps, we can see that there are seven lamps. Starting on the left, we have the centralized warning lamp, which lights up red and an audible buzzer sounds when the truck is in any of the following conditions. Action level LO2, LO3, or LO4 are displayed on the monitor when the engine overrun senses an overspeed condition, when the fan is in reverse, when the bed is not seated or the handle is not in the float position, when there is a danger of the truck tipping, when the bed is raised, when the battery charge level is low or when either the brake or steering oil pressures are below the set threshold while the engine is running. The centralized warning lamp will also illuminate when the starting switch is turned on and the directional shift lever is in any position other than neutral. When the gear shift lever is not in neutral with the parking brake applied. When the gear shift lever is put into neutral when traveling over 2.4 miles per hour or when traveling over 2.4 miles per hour in neutral. Or when in the dry position and the accelerator is pressed along with the brake pedal. Or if downshifted or changed direction while traveling too fast. This parking brake lamp lights up when the parking brake is applied. The left turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved down. The front high beam pilot lamp lights up when the high beam headlights are activated by moving the turn signal lever forward. The right turn signal pilot lamp flashes when the turn signal lever is moved up. The brake oil caution lamp warns the operator when the brake oil pressure drops below the specified value. And finally, we have the clearance lamp pilot lamp. It lights up when the clearance lamps are turned on by rotating the end of this turn signal lever. The speedometer and tachometer work together in the round part of the machine monitor. During certain key on functions, the gauge may reboot. The monitor display may be considered the primary focus of the monitor gauge group. This 7 inch color graphic displays more than just warning and pilot icons. At this time, let's focus on the four gauges one in each corner of the display. The gauge in the upper left corner reports the engine coolant temperature and when the gauge reaches the red range LO2 is displayed and the engine output is limited. The gauge in the lower left corner reports the torque converter oil temperature and when the temperature reaches the red range LO2 is displayed. The gauge in the upper right corner reports the retarder oil temperature. Just as the other two temperature gauges when it reaches the red level LO2 will be displayed on the monitor panel. When any of the temperature gauges reach the limit of the normal operating range or the red zone, stop the truck in a safe place, put the transmission in a neutral position, and run the engine at half throttle. The gauge in the lower right reports the fuel level, and the red level caution light will come on when there is 33.3 gallons left in the fuel tank. The left side of the monitor display includes an ecology gauge which shows the instantaneous fuel consumption. We define the instantaneous fuel consumption rate as the fuel consumption rate at that moment. This is calculated based on monitored parameters that measure accelerator pedal angle, travel speed, gear selection, and workload. This whole gauge can be turned on or off. The gauge itself has two parts. The left bar is green on the bottom and orange at the top and is adjustable through the truck monitor. This indicates the target fuel consumption rate. The floating step gauge changes as the operator uses the machine. 
the heavier the use of the accelerator, the higher the bars. The HVAC system display is located in the top left corner of the monitor panel. Not all of these icons are visible at all times, only when activated by the blue buttons on the multi-switch panel. Shown here are the operation mode, the fan speed, the temperature setting, and the AC on-off status. This display area is also used to notify the operator of specific conditions. They are maintenance notifications, when preventative maintenance is due or past due, and when there is an issue with the truck. This could be anything from fluid levels to a fault issue with the truck. This will notify the operator and it's their responsibility to respond or react. In the center of the monitor display is the clock display. When the payload meter is activated, the clock will disappear and the payload meter display will be seen. This display area is also where the action level codes can be seen when the truck is having an issue. Below the clock PLM display is the ARSC display and pilot lamp. The ARSC or Auto Retarder Speed Control readout shows the speed that the operator has set for descending hills. When a speed is set depending on the site and the conditions, the system should assist the operator with maintaining the set speed by applying the retarder automatically. Besides turning the system on and setting the specific speed, specific conditions need to be met for the retarder to operate. The operator must be off the throttle pedal and the actual speed of the truck must be at or below the speed on the display. When these conditions are met, the system ready light will illuminate green. This notifies the operator that the system is ready. Then the retarder will apply when the truck tries to increase its speed above the set speed on the monitor. Down low on the main monitor is a series of pilot lamps that notify the operator of specific conditions and features that are on or off. These consist of the following. The retarder pilot lamp, the KTCS or Komatsu Traction Control System pilot light, which indicates if the system is on or off, the regeneration status pilot lamp, which shows when a regen is being performed or if it has been disabled, the auxiliary steering pilot lamp, which comes on whenever the steering system pressure drops below a specified setting. The fan reverse pilot lamp, which comes on when the fan has been put into the reverse direction. And the engine preheat light, which comes on automatically when the key is turned on and the ambient temperature is below a threshold or when activated manually. Also, there is the torque converter lockup pilot lamp, which comes on automatically when the parameters are met for the converter to go into the lockup condition, and the front brake off pilot lamp, which indicates when the operator has selected to turn off the front brakes. At the bottom of the monitor display, there are two meters. These are user programmable. The left meter can be programmed to display service meter reading, or SMR in hours, odometer reading, or clock time in 12 or 24 hour format. SMR is the default. For the right meter, the choices are average fuel consumption, SMR hours, odometer, or clock time. Average fuel consumption is the default. At times during operation, there may be conditions related to excessive fuel consumption that are sensed. When this happens, these displays might be covered up by ecology guidance displays such as avoid long idle time, or release the hoist lever, or shift up. These are just a sample of the ecology displays that are included. All of these are guidance to assist the operator with getting the best fuel consumption possible. This ecology guidance feature can be switched on or off in the monitor panel. This concludes the monitor and gauge section for Komatsu's HD465 and HD605-8 truck. If you have any questions or need any additional information, please refer to the owner's and maintenance manual located behind the seat. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.